oatmeal this week for breakfast. I'm going to be doing apple cinnamon. I've got some peeled and sliced apples here. I've got my ground cinnamon. We're almost to the end of this big bag of Splenda from BJ's. I'm going to combine what's left of the chopped walnuts and chopped pecans to put on top. And of course, we have our oats. So I'm going to go ahead and put three and a half cups of water into this hot pan. Um, I'm going to add the apples to that so that they can cook as the water heats. I'm also going to go ahead and add the cinnamon and a little bit of Splenda. Oatmeal. using water today. I'm going to go ahead and add in two cups of the quick cooking oats. I'm going to mix those in. And then I'm going to cover again while that cooks and I clean up. Alright, so here's the finished oatmeal. Um, I'm just going to turn this out into my bowl. I'm doing everything family size or family style rather this week just to save time instead of individually packaging it. And then once I have it turned out in the pan, I'm going to sprinkle over what's left of the chopped walnuts and what's left of the chopped pecans. I'm going to cover and let that cool. And then we can dip out of that this week for breakfast. impromptu mashed potatoes. I've got some cut up, peeled, washed potatoes, which are just regular Idaho potatoes, like baking potatoes. I'm going to mash them up with a little bit of the pot water after I boil them, get them nice and soft. I'm going to add some sour cream, some margarine, and I'm going to season them with granulated garlic, salt, and pepper and that will go along with the chicken tenderloins and the green beans all right so here are the potatoes boiling we'll go ahead and test them they are tender so i'm going to drain these but i'm going to save a little bit of the liquid so i'm going to take out about a cup of the cooking liquid and set that aside and I'm gonna drain these. All right, so I've got the drained potatoes in the pot. You can see they're hot and try to cool it off a little bit. I'm going to add about half of the potato water. I'm going to add some margarine and some sour cream and then I'm gonna mash these up. Alright, so you see I'm in the process of 
mashing the potatoes. I'm just going to keep mashing them until they are smooth. If I need to add more of the liquid, then I will, but I'm just going to keep mashing them until they're pretty smooth. All right, so now that these are smooth, I am going to season them with a little bit of granulated garlic, pepper, and salt. I'm gonna mix them up again and then put them into my bowl. All right, so here are the mashed potatoes along with the baked chicken tenderloins and the green beans. These were frozen and I just cooked them down with some seasoning and a red onion. So there's hubby's dinner for this week to save time. I just packaged everything family style instead of putting it into individual containers.